I was referred to the Watch Project through the mental health services many, many years ago. After about uh, six to eight months, I sort of reached the point where I was comfortable moving on. I got what I needed out of the project. I sort of found myself in a position where I was ready, not necessarily to go back into work, but I had a lot of free time and I was feeling a bit braver and I wanted to do something with that. So basically, because I was familiar with the project and was comfortable there, I got back in touch with Julie and asked if I could basically turn up again one day and sort of help out a little bit. He has a great empathy for people and I think some of that is, yes, that he's, he's been on his own journey so he can uh, resonate with a lot of people. He's been really courageous. He stood up there talking at talks and uh, speaking about his mental health and trying to break down the stigma. It's just a real comfortable environment where I guess everyone can bring something to the table and we're all just willing to try. I've lived in Laburnum Drive for eight years and I'm very happy to be a Yarlington resident. I formed a committee and um, we've been running for eight years. I'm the secretary and the treasurer of the group. The whole purpose really is to get the local community in Somerton, as well as, as us in Laburnum, to integrate together and connect with each other and gain friendships. We have themed parties like sausage and mash and fish and chips nights and, and quizzes and things like that. We have coffee mornings and um, we get money from all these different events. And with this, this money then goes to charity. I'll send a newsletter out myself, print it and make it up and print it. Because we've, had, we've made a little profit on, on all our coach trips this year, the last trip we did, we, we gave, we, we, we took all the, the fares in advance as usual. But then we gave it all back to them on the coach as a surprise. I'm just a people's person and I just care for other people, genuinely. try and get people coming out rather than sitting at home um, on their own. They come along and help organise events for us and they help to get people to events. Brian even acts as Father Christmas at Christmas. When we moved into uh, Millbrook Gardens um, just over four years ago, there's several men living on their own who never came out. I sort of hit on the idea one day of um, doing a community breakfast or a boys breakfast I called it. I put a little note rain to, to all, the, all the men who were on their own and they all turned up at eight o'clock on this morning and that was three years ago and I've, I've done breakfast every Wednesday morning for the last three years. They travel around the other hub schemes and help with other, other events there. Um, everybody loves them, they absolutely adore Di Diane and Brian. Um, they're, they're part of everything. Most of the big events, well all of the big events that we do, they're, they're there for us. Absolutely amazing, couldn't do it without them. 